Okay. Hey everyone, this is an unboxing video of the Ellie Blue uh, EBJ 1400 series. Uh, this one specifically is the EBJ uh, 1451, the Ellie Blue J14 Jet Flame Lighter in black lacquer, and I believe that's pronounced markety. Uh, so, unboxing it from the uh, shipping sleeve. We have the standard Ellie Blue Paris blue box, again with the uh, model number on there. And even though it does say Paris, I believe these particular lighters are made in Japan, but don't let that worry you because some of the best lighters are actually coming out of Japan these days, uh, including the IM Coronas, and uh, Ellie Blue is no exception. So opening the outer gift box, uh, we see the lighter itself with the little clear plastic film on there to keep our fingerprints and everything off there. Uh, if I remove that, and stick our finger here and pull out this insert carefully so we don't rip it, uh, it does come with a full set of instructions on how to fill it, how to ignite it, how to take care of it, and it is in multiple languages, which is always helpful for some of you. Um, so yeah, so at least it comes with instructions for filling, unlike some other lighter manufacturers that'll say nameless, that believe that you should just kind of figure it out on your own. So let's put this aside, and let's take a look at the lighter itself. So LE Blue lighters are some of the uh, newest lighters to come out, uh, this newer series. Uh, they're really trying to match the style and complexity of design as well as the reliability of the ST DuPont. And you can see that's clearly an ST DuPont style. Um, before I even take the film off of this one, you can see that there's a little reservoir tank in the back, which is always helpful. Uh, nice design and where you would normally find, like on an ST DuPont, the long roller, you've actually got your push button to ignite your jet flame. All right, so let's take a look at that. Let's peel off our protective coating. And just looking at the lighter here, um, you can see that you know, the dimensions are really nice for, I have you know, slightly larger hands, so the dimensions are really, really nice for any size hand. The bottom, you have your very clearly marked fuel indicator valve, in which you just kind of use your nail and you open up that, peel up that little handle here. Give that a turn, and when you open that up, you can see that'll just come off here. And that is where you fill your lighter. Close that back up. Close that thing there, okay? So you can see that is, uh, that's your clearly marked fuel. This is your adjustment, and again, it's got the same little handle that you can pop up with your fingernail there. And you've got your little arrow indicating a counterclockwise turn to increase the size of your flame. Uh, remember, like with any lighter, don't ever increase the size of your flame without the lighter being lit, because some people will just kind of turn it up all the way, thinking they like a really nice high flame. They'll flip the lighter over, light it, and burn their eyebrows off. So we don't want that. So that is how you increase or decrease your flame size. And again, here you can see it's clearly marked that this is made in Japan, okay? Even though it does say here, Ellie Blue Paris and the J14. Um, that's, uh, you know, essentially all of the, you know, outer garnishments that you're going to find here. Popping open the lighter, and for, I know some of you are gonna ask, no, it does not ping like some of the ST DuPont lighters do. Uh, you don't buy a lighter for the sound it makes, you buy a lighter for the quality and, and what it does in making a flame. Uh, and you can see it's very, very simple. Uh, you're just pressing on this thumb piece will ignite the flame. And it's you know a little hard to see, but I guarantee you if I stuck my hand over that, I would get burned. Jet flames are very, very hot, they're windproof, so trying to blow it out, you actually can't do it. I'm not sure if you can even see that. You might be able to see that against there, maybe against the white. No, it's just too light. 
Um, so yeah, so that's essentially it. Uh, it's perfect for lighting cigarettes, perfect for lighting cigars. Uh, you might have a little bit of trouble trying to light a pipe with this because although you feasibly could do it by pressing that in and dipping it down into the bowl of a pipe, uh, you wouldn't want to take the chance of burning the rim of the pipe or anything like that. So I would stick to cigars especially uh, and cigarettes for this. Uh, it's a very simple design, but very nice, very elegant. Uh, very easy to clean, a simple polishing cloth. I have one here. This is just a plain old polishing cloth that you can get at any jewelry supply store. Just a quick rub down with it right over the lacquer is fine and it shines up just beautifully. And again, this was the Ellie Blue EBJ 1451 model, which is uh, similar to all of the Fort EBJ 1400 series lighters, which of course are all in different styles and colors and such. Um, it's a great lighter. Uh, we have it at a great price, uh, only at uh, elegantlighters.com. So uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer them for you and order yours today.